Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Tom Khalil. I'm a deputy director in the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. And at the risk of uh, sounding like I'm at the Oscars, I have a lot of people that I would like to thank. Uh, I'm going to be providing a little bit uh, more information on uh, all of the uh, organizations, many of the organizations, both inside and outside the federal government that have stepped up and are making commitments today uh, to advance uh, smart cities. And I want to start uh, with the Networking and Information Technology Research and Development Program, which coordinates uh, the $4.1 billion that the federal government invests uh, in information technology research and development. They are releasing a new framework today which will help guide federal agency investments and uh, spur additional outside collaborations that are related to smart cities and connected communities. The Department of Transportation is announcing f approximately $40 million in connected vehicle pilots today, including in Tampa and Manhattan, which will pilot connected vehicle technologies and vehicle data in urban areas to improve safety and reduce traffic congestion. The uh, Commerce Department's uh, Economic and Development Administration will focus their $10 million Regional Innovation uh, Strategies Program on research commercialization and entrepreneurship, including supporting startups with an impact uh, on the community's uh, most pressing uh, problems. The also part of the uh, Commerce Department census is taking additional steps to promote the use of their open source city software development kit, which will make it easier for application developers to use census data for the, for the development of smart city applications. Uh, as Dr. Holder mentioned, the Environmental Protection Agency is going to provide funding to experiment with new approaches for air quality monitoring that take advantage of low-cost sensors. On the private sector side, uh, Envision America is announcing a new competition uh, for cities that will allow up to 10 city leaders the opportunity uh, to workshop their energy, water, waste, and air challenges with experts and develop detailed plans for new initiatives using innovative technologies. The new effort is supported by Accelerated Innovations, Autodesk, Bank of America, Cisco, Duke Energy, D GE, uh, ITRON, uh, Landis and Gyre, Microsoft, and Qualcomm Technologies. And this builds on uh, Envision Charlotte, uh, which is uh, pursuing a goal uh, to reduce energy usage in their central business district by uh, 20%. Uh, Chicago is launching an effort called City Digital. This is a partnership that brings together the city with uh, industry and academia. They're going to be pursuing projects in green infrastructure and the monitoring of underground infrastructure. The Dallas Innovation Alliance is launching an effort that will bring together uh, industry and other stakeholders to develop smart city approaches to infrastructure, mobility, and connected living. Uh, in Detroit, uh, IBM is deploying a Smarter Cities Challenge team in Detroit to design a strategy for cost-efficient, sustainable removal, recycling, and reuse of debris from abandoned and neglected properties. The National League of Cities is announcing the winners of their multi-city innovation campaign, which is a program that uh, matches civic tech companies with an audience of 25 local governments, uh, which uh, provide feedback on and test beds for innovative new technologies to deploy in their communities. Uh, Siemens USA is uh, making their city performance tool available in the cities of the Carbon Neutral Cities Alliance, uh, which are uh, seven cities across nine different countries. This software model will allow these communities to dynamically model the changes required to evaluate how specific building transportation and energy technologies can help them achieve their environmental goals. And uh, in Northern California, in the Bay Area, a public-private partnership is improving security for the next Super Bowl. Uh, for the first time, law enforcement, NFL, security, transit authority, and city leaders are going to have real-time access to the same security data, thanks to an effort involving the San Francisco 49ers, the Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority, the City of Santa Clara, the Santa Clara Police Department, uh, Arena Geographics, and allied uh, telesis. Uh, so those, those are just a few of the uh, public and private uh, initiatives that are being unveiled today. 
Uh, and as Dr. Holden said, I hope that you'll consider working with us to uh, not only implement all these great initiatives, uh, but to figure out ways in which we can learn from each other, to take advantage of our laboratories of democracy, and over time, increase the number of individuals and organizations, both inside and outside the government, uh, that are, are involved in promoting uh, smart and connected communities. So next up, um, we're going to have uh, a panel to look at this from the uh, university perspective. Uh, so can I uh, welcome uh, Elena Harkness, who is the uh, program director with the uh, MacArthur Foundation, which is supporting the Metro uh, Lab Network to the stage. I, I can, I've got one change in the agenda. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep, thank you. Thanks very much, Tom. So we, we've unfortunately got one of our panelists, I believe, Anthony Townsend, is, is still stuck outside at the gate. So I think we'd just like to be nimble here uh, and go ahead and jump into two of the lightning talks that we have planned. Just short, uh, lightning fast pitches on uh, new announcements that, that were, are being uh, announced today. So the, the first one, I believe, that we have lined up should be um, uh, City SDK, uh, Jeff Mizell from the Census Bureau, and Ashley McClelland from Waffle I.O. Please welcome them to the stage. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeff Meisel. Presidential Innovation Fellow at the U.S. Census Bureau, and my co-presenter is Ashley McClellan, who works at an enterprise lean startup in CA Technologies called Waffle.io, and she, she brings a lot of expertise in agile and lean startup. I'm also joined in today's forum by our CTO of the U.S. Census Bureau, Avi Bender, who's the executive sponsor of the City SDK project, and we're very excited to share with you three pillars on how we are incubating ideas from civic tech communities across the nation that can play a role in smart cities. First, at the heart of this initiative is the existing tech ecosystems that already reside in your communities. These include the mixture of academia, industry, open government, and innovation hubs. The reason we keep this community front and center is to make sure that the problem definitions and solutions being built are driven to maximize impact in a given city. We proved this model earlier this summer with our national challenge that produced an incredible array of app prototypes in areas such as health access, social justice, education, and Internet of Things. Next is improved access to government data. This ensures that software developers can be as, sexful, as successful as possible. And the census has been leading this as a cross-agency effort. And we call the City SDK your software development kit, and it's really a platform to build your apps on top of. This bridges the gap between open data at the federal, state, and local level. And it improves access to the data and makes it more interoperable. What used to take developers days or weeks in order to build their first prototype, we've seen has reduced to just a matter of hours or over the course of a weekend. Now I'll turn it over to Ashley to talk about the third pillar, which is the playbook. Thanks, Jeff. As Jeff mentioned, communities have these built-in ecosystems that can be tapped into. And now, with the City SDK, they have a programming framework which improves how open government data can be incorporated into their applications. The third piece is an Agile playbook that we are excited to launch later this month at the annual Code for America Summit in Oakland. Its creation is a collaboration between Census, Code for America, and CA Technologies Waffle.io, which is a free Agile tool for open source projects that use GitHub. Waffle.io and the Agile playbook were created as part of CA's corporate social responsibility mission to help make Code for America's brigade program more effective. The objective of the playbook is to provide an innovation process that can be made replicable from city to city at scale at events like hackathons. The playbook takes a problem-centric approach to make sure solutions are meeting citizens' most pressing needs. This is the same type of process that leading companies use to create software, closely aligned with the practices defined in the U.S. Digital Services Playbook. The Agile Playbook allows teams within cities that have the Code for America structure, these are called brigades, as most of you know, to better manage their innovation process, including the city, smart city solutions that are being driven by the community. A great example of how this works is from an event we held this past weekend in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
We started by engaging all the key ecosystem participants in the community, including academia, <coughs> academia, industry, government, and innovation hubs. Over the course of two days, teams were able to use city SDK to get census data and combine that with state data and local data to work towards solutions in areas such as veteran services, health, and education. During the event, we used the Agile Playbook to walk teams through the, co through the completion of five design sprints to validate their ideas and help test hypotheses. Our hope is when teams leave this type of event, they are armed with an innovation process 